Hi, welcome to my video. I feel like my video is getting stale with only ranking and lists so I want to change it up a little bit, and you know who else like to do some change up, right? Nmix. What's with Nmix? They are the newest girl group under JYP Entertainment, debuted following the success of their predecessors such as Twice, Itzy, and Neezy U. But when those groups could easily reach their success shortly after debut, for some reason it seems that Nmix is struggling a little despite being one of the girl group under Big 4 company. And of course we all know what is the reason to that. Their mix pop sound, right? But is that true? We've heard their debut song and probably think it was the most horrible song ever. We've seen them throwing the mix pop sound for a more trendy and marketable sound. People cheered, many said that they finally make good music. But if you are an intellectuals like me you are probably mourning of the dead of the rich of potentials, totally never been done before, 1000% unique concept that defiantly not just one of JYP's failed attempt to chase the ESPA next level sound, that Mixpop was. So is Mixpop a concept that just couldn't work especially in long run? I personally think Mixpop or mixing multiple song into one is never the problem on the first place. This concept shouldn't be limiting them but instead it should help them expand their musical identity by trying and mixing wide range of genres. But the thing is, JYP already fucked them over since the get-go and failed Mixpop. Why? It's because the way they approached this concept. Just look at their debut song oh oh. Do people think the Mixpop part ruined this song? Maybe. But most people I've seen just got thrown away by all the yelling and the dated production on the first verse and chorus. In fact, most people I've seen on the internet actually favor the change-up section more. See, Mixpop is not the problem. OO is just not a song that everyone could enjoy even if it's Mixpop or not. The production is sedated, they tried to save it with the pop-punk section but most people already got turned off by the intro. The other element that ruined Mixpop is the song length. During the pandemic, TikTok went big, many songs went popular through this platform. And recording company tried to recreate that success by taking some of the core element of viral songs, catchy hook, danceable beat, and the most prominent to me, shorter song length. And with that K-pop song started to be shorter too, including Nmix's song, Evan thought it just couldn't work with their concept. Other song with this change-up element is usually relatively long so that each section could be explored and to give the listener a room to adjust for each of the changes. Just look at I Got A Boy by SNSD, almost 5 minutes which is long for a K-pop song. Both of Nmix Mixpop title tracks are only under 3 minutes. Cramming two entryly different sections of song in that short amount of time would only make the song sound messy and confusing. To me Dice is always a better song. It's still experimental but with less yelling and more singing and rap talking. But after that disastrous debut, I feel like most people is skeptical with their masuic and just won't take them seriously as long as the mixpop element is still on their song. At that point they know that mixpop is not going to work out for them. But it didn't have to be like that if OO is a more marketable song. Them using the least easy listening song and paired it up with a hit or miss trend is just a recipe to disaster for a debut song that should have introduced them to the masses. Such a bad introduction to mixpop. But should they just throw away this concept? Mixpop is Nmix core concept, it's literally on. Their name. Unlike other groups, they can't just abandon it especially for a group as new as Nmix. But we all know they did. And now they latch onto another trend, the Y2K. Sacrificing their core concept for what's currently on trend, so what is their brand now? I don't know. Watching them feels like watching one of the many nondescript Y2K inspired K-pop group out there. Is the music good now? Well definitely. Is it better than their mixpop song? Arguable. So is throwing their mixpop sound turned positively for them. Commercially, yes, their song charted better, album sold more, and they got their first win. Would they do better if they keep doing mixpop? Could be. And a mix needs to be more marketable with their mixpop song. Mixpop sound is already experimental enough I don't think a pop group need to yell and doing all that on the chorus. That's what they did wrong and that's what Espa did right. They know the balance. So now, could Nmix go back to their mixpop sound? Reintroducing the concept that is not well received by many people could be hard but there will always be the middle ground to everything. I think if they can mix their more trendy sound that they have right now with the mixpop change-up element they could do wonders. It would distinguish them from their peers again while still being commercially marketable. Nmix is going to come back this month. They've just released the pre-release single Roller Coaster and while I am not that impressed with the visual, the song is really good. 
I think this is my favorite song by them so far, and from the preview itself I think the title track is going to be better. But you know what could elevate this song even more? Mixbop, exactly. I think there would be less comparisons to other group if they put something that they've known for in this songs. I really wish they could do the unthinkable and actually bring back Mixbop while also incorporating their new and more trendy sound into it.